Hello and welcome. This is the Star Trek model kit. And um <clears throat> I bought this at a um hobby shop. Um it's a second hand store. It's not an actual like model kit type place. They sell a little bit of everything from comics to um, it's and I'm not sure how to explain it. Um, it's called the prop shop, and originally they sold movie prop um, stuff, and then they expanded into um, pop culture type things, and so they sell a lot of of a lot of everything. So I went in there one day and I saw this. And when I first walked in the door, they said, if you see something, make an offer. And uh, so I said, okay. And I saw this, and I offered them $10, expecting to end at around somewhere around $20 on it. But he said, okay, $10. And I did not argue. At first glance, it's like, well, it looks like it's half gone, but it's not. Here's the base. Here's the main ship. The rest of the main ship. And the two other Enterprises are smaller ones, and they're all here. Decals. I paid $10 for this. They, they said, make an offer. Jokingly, I said $10. And the guy said, yeah, sure. And, uh... So I gave them ten dollars for this. Now the other one I got a good deal on. This one came from Hobby Lobby. This is a Hobby Lobby one. Ten dollars. This is like a thirty thirty or fifty dollar kit. And it is all here. The reason why it was ten dollars is because somebody had opened it up, and somebody had started to build it. And this is about all, as far as it got, is taking parts off the tree and actually building the engine or beginning to build the engine. And that's as far as they got. And they took it back. <clears throat> probably, probably discovered there was maybe more than what they were expecting. But after going through this kit, I realized everything is here. So, $10. Look around. Look at those odd shops that you just pass by and don't ever go in. Those little second-hand stores, those little antique shops, you know, that place on the side of the road that you've you've passed by a dozen times and never went in because, well, you're not interested in antique, you know, horseshoes, but you never know. They might have a model kit in there that's been sitting there, and it's got a good price on it because, you know, you don't think about going to those places to look for model kits. So this one came from Hobby Lobby. The other one came from a secondhand shop. I got, I got a couple others that came from the antique store downtown where I live. 
I go into those places and I look around. I go to Goodwill and Salvation Army and I look in there too because sometimes you'll find model kits sitting on those shelves. Now sometimes you can find them and maybe they're just parts of the kit that's in there. Other times it's a full kit. Sometimes they're partially put together. But you know what? Model builders know that if they can they buy something and it's not complete, you can find parts that make it complete. Or you use that kit to build another. Maybe use the engine or maybe use the body or whatever. So yeah. You don't always have to go to the hobby shop to find your hobbies. Uh, you don't always have to go to the hobby shop to find your models. Um, look in those odd places. So, yeah. Thank you and have a good day. Hey, if you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button, that share button, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And see that little bell icon? Go ahead and hit that too. You'll be notified when I upload a new video. Thank you and have a great day.